Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be making a fun breakfast. Kind of, I saw it, I don't know where I saw it. Someone put honey and avocado on a Trader Joe's hash brown. And I wanna try doing it just with Trader Joe's hash brown, avocado, and then a runny egg on top. And I figured it'd be pretty good. So I'm gonna try that. We have two hash browns left. So I'm gonna make one for Christian and one for me. And I'll let you know how it is. Put the hash browns in the air fryer. I didn't even check and see if I had avocado. Good, I have one ripe avocado left. We'll see if it's good. I'm sure it is. I mean, you can't go wrong with those three ingredients, hash browns, egg, and avocado. But anyways, I'm excited to be vlogging this weekend. I don't have much planned, but, um, which is nice because I feel like the last two weekends I've, we've had plans and we've just been busy. And this weekend we don't really have any plans. I definitely want to go to Trader Joe's. Um, I'm out of my sourdough bread, which is really sad. And I actually got Christian hooked on the sourdough bread. So we've been eating it nonstop. And do that. I'll probably film a haul because I haven't done that in a little while. And yeah. I got some stuff in from Set Active that I want to show you. I have been loving set active and their sets i've been working out i work out um three to four days a week and i've been loving their sets for my workouts so i'll show you the stuff that i got from them in this video too and yeah but hi welcome back to another video i'm happy that you're here Okay, what? This is what it looks like. It looks insane. Let me get some more light. This looks incredible. I'll let you know if it's good, but like obviously it probably is good. Wow. That breakfast was incredible. We'll definitely be stocking up on hash browns the next time I go to Trader Joe's. So that way we can eat that more often. It was so good. You have to try it. Let me know if you do end up trying it or if you have tried it. But I wanted to show you the stuff that I got from Set Active. So here is the stuff that I got from Set Active. Biker shorts in this tan color and also in black. And then I loved this tan color so much that I got the leggings as well. If you are wanting to get Set Active, you have to basically buy them on the day that they drop the new colors because it's just it's crazy like if you wanted to wait a week that color that you love could be out of stock within a few hours of that drop and also if you look at Poshmark Poshmark has a lot of set active colors that that are older colors that people are selling so look on Poshmark for sure. Love the biker shorts. This was my first time purchasing the biker shorts from Set Active and I love them. I got them in the same material as the leggings. So I got them in the Sculpt Flex. They also have a luxe form. And I just don't know. I think that's more of a softer yoga type material. And this is more for like sweaty workouts. So I got that and then I got these bras which are like the crisscross back bras in both the tan and the black to match and here are my sizes I got a small in the bra and I honestly could have done an extra small but I didn't want it to be too tight so I got a small a small and I think these are I'm an extra small in the bottoms yeah 
So this is what I got from Set Active. I love their stuff and I'm excited for the May drop because they have this blue color being released, I guess. And it's the prettiest blue color that I've ever seen and I have to get it. So if you're interested in getting Set Active stuff, definitely follow them on Instagram because they are just constantly updating when their drops are. And they also do like little countdowns, so. Definitely follow them if you're interested in getting some of the stuff. The biker shorts go quick, like really quick. Everyone's loving them. I love biker shorts for spring and summer. It's so easy to throw on. I think they work well with the changing seasons too because you can always swap out your top to kind of fit in with the different seasons, like wear a hoodie and biker shorts, wear just like a long sleeve and biker shorts, wear a short sleeve and biker shorts, tank top and biker shorts. Like I just feel like they transition so well into all like types of seasons, which is good. So, and they're really in. So I think that's why they go so quick. But I wanted to show you what Christian got me for our three year anniversary. He got me sneakers, but they were too small. So last weekend we tried to go return them and swap them out for like another size and they didn't have the size in stock in the store so we had to order them and get them shipped or else i would have shown you in last weekend's vlog but um so i got the nike air max in a size six so these are them i am obsessed with them so those are the shoes that i got that's the active wear that i got i'm on like kind of like an active wear kick i feel like i go through phases with clothes like i'll either like go through a month where i like buy just like jewelry and then i go through a month where i buy like clothes like athleisure clothes and then i'll like buy active wear and stuff like that but i feel like i'm never buying work clothes which is kind of bad because i am working five days out of the week and i wear the same work clothes but anyways I just got back from Trader Joe's and I wanted to do a little Trader Joe's haul, show you what I got, show you what I love from Trader Joe's and what I'm constantly getting. So to start off, sweet potato fries. They have really good sweet potato fries. So I got two bags of those. The kombucha, the cayenne one, whatever it's called. Their kombucha is cheaper than Publix, so I bought one there. I bought some tulips because tomorrow's Mother's Day and I would buy my mom flowers if she was still around, so I bought myself flowers instead. I got some avocado, some pita crackers. They're really good with this blueberry goat cheese. This is so good from Trader Joe's, and with these crackers, it's incredible. I got two sourdough breads, keep them in the freezer, and then I just defrost them in the toaster so that way they stay good for longer. Center cut filet, I think we will vacuum seal this and maybe eat it, well, we could probably eat it this weekend or save it for next week or next weekend. Trader Joe's has really good center cut filet. I got some eggs, two packages of eggs. These grainless tortilla chips are so good, so I got one of those. The everything but the elote corn chips really good two hash browns because I don't think I can be without what I made this morning it was so good so I stocked up and got two we love this roasted corn it's so good to create like your own taco bowl I also love bringing this for lunch as like um, a taco bowl if you've seen some of my recent vlogs or my what I eat in a work day. My most recent one, I use this. Sweet potato gnocchi, gorgonzola gnocchi, some baby spinach for smoothies, chunky guacamole. This combination, so good. 
can't go to Trader Joe's without getting ginger shots. They're so cheap there. So much better than buying them from Publix. I think they're like a whole dollar or dollar ninety nine cheaper. So that's great. Um, these buffalo burgers, so good. Fried rice and orange chicken. Just regular corn. And I think that's it. So that's the Trader Joe's haul. Can't wait to have this tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah. Is my seat eater on? What the hell is going on? Oh, it's just so hot. This is unreal. I'm really sad because Christian got me flowers literally last weekend for a three year and I threw out all the ones that died and there was three dozen in there and now there's like one good one left. So I'm like sad because the flowers didn't last long. But I'm glad that I have these over here now. No, it's Rock Angel. Yeah, that's the one you haven't tried yet. That one's the, it's the same, it's from the same family as Whispering in the Palm. It's their, it's actually the most expensive one, so it's supposed to be the best, but. Okay, it is later in the day. It's almost eight o'clock. We haven't done anything for dinner yet because we had lunch at like 4.30. So we're not super hungry. We have this rock angel rosé in the fridge that Christian got from his job and I'm gonna try it because I haven't tried this one I wish I had the other one to compare it's good What's your rating? I think I rate it probably a six. I think I liked Whispering Angel better. I feel like this is more, like I feel like the Whispering Angel was smoother. Like softer, whispering. <laughs> So we got P.F. Chang's for dinner. We're gonna split it. We get the Mandarin Crunch Salad. They sometimes take it off their menu. So it's on their menu now. But it's really, really good. I normally wouldn't like salads like this, I feel like. You, do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. I feel like I wouldn't necessarily go for a salad like this, but Christian got me hooked on it, and it's so good. So we get it basically every time we get P.F. Chang's. And then we get the Chang spicy chicken and fried rice, and we're gonna split this tonight, so. Ooh. Your ambitious nature will help you make a name for yourself. <laughs> 